Hey there, and welcome back to Plays Well With Butter. I'm Jess Larson, and today I'm gonna show you how to prepare the most insanely flavorful and juicy roasted Thanksgiving turkey in, get this, two hours or less. It might sound impossible, but it's definitely not, all thanks to one secret. We're gonna spatchcock our turkey. Spatchcocking is a method of butchering poultry in which the bird's backbone is removed, so it lays completely flat. This is especially handy for big birds like turkey because once it's flattened, it cooks in a fraction of the time, which keeps the meat completely juicy and flavorful. And while it might sound a little intimidating, I promise you it's really easy. You're just a couple steps away from your best Thanksgiving turkey ever. You're gonna be obsessed. I've been spatchcocking my Thanksgiving turkey for almost a decade now, ever since the first Friendsgiving I ever hosted. You can read all of the juicy details on the blog, but in short, the day of prep did not go well. Our dinner was this close to disaster, and the one thing that saved the day was the fact that we spatchcocked our turkey and it roasted up really quickly. So I've been a disciple of the spatchcocked Thanksgiving turkey ever since. And if this is your first time giving it a try, trust me, you're in really good hands. To get started, you're gonna want one 12 to 14 pound turkey. Because we're gonna be flattening it out and laying it sideways in a roasting pan, I don't suggest going much larger than 14 pounds. Otherwise you might have trouble getting your turkey to fit in a conventional roasting pan. And the one thing to remember, if you're starting with a frozen turkey, you have to get it thawed out well before the day you need to roast it. The safest way to thaw a turkey is to place it in the coolest area of your refrigerator and the consistent cool environment of the refrigerator slowly and safely brings the turkey up to temperature. So you're going to want to plan for 24 hours of refrigerated thawing for every 4 pounds of turkey. So a 12 to 14 pound turkey is going to take 3 to 4 days to thaw out in the fridge. And aside from our thawed turkey, the other things you need to spatchcock it are a large plastic cutting board, really sharp kitchen shears, a sharp chef's knife, and a rolling pin. So to start, we're gonna take our turkey and place it on the cutting board in front of you, breast side facing down. I'm just gonna place it so the spine is perpendicular to me and you'll want to have paper towel nearby so you can pat things dry and keep things from wiggling around as you work. And you can grab the turkey's tailbone and take your very sharp kitchen shears and begin to snip along either side of the spine. And just keep snipping towards the other end of the spine all the way through. And then you're just gonna repeat along the other side. What I like to do is hold one side secure while I snip with the other side. So if you'd rather not have cross arms, you can just flip the turkey around and start from the top and work your way down. Just gonna flip them around so I can finish this off. And there we go, our turkey's backbone is removed. And if you are one to make your own turkey stock, you can hold on to that backbone to add extra flavor to your turkey stock, or you can roast it with your turkey to make a really rich, flavorful turkey gravy. So what you're gonna wanna do at this point is open the turkey's cavity and make sure it's really securely facing you because we're gonna crack the breastbone of the turkey. So take a really sharp chef knife and position it in the center of the wishbone here. And you can kind of press down to cut into it, score it a little bit. And then this is my secret. Rather than trying to wiggle around with a really sharp knife and a lot of force, that's like a disaster in the making, you can take a rolling pin and tap it into the heel of the blade of your knife. And that will drive the blade of the knife right through the bone. Really easy with very little effort. And then you can split it open so it lays flat. We'll turn our turkey over and we're pretty much all the way there except what you're gonna wanna do is press down with your body weight until you hear a good crack and it lays really nice and flat. And there you have a spatched cock turkey. Congratulations, you did it all yourself.
You can head over to Plays Well With Butter for a full walkthrough. We even have step-by-step -step photos to help you with every step along the way. And be sure to check out our Herb Butter Roast Spatchcock Turkey video, which will help you roast up a beautifully juicy Thanksgiving turkey with classic flavors. But before you go, be sure to like and subscribe for more unfuzzy recipes that pack a big punch of flavor from Plays Well With Butter. Happy Thanksgiving.